dogs, they stepped, somebody stepped on me, and, and just because I'm little, like, watch where you walk. Happy Saturday. We're going to the Atlanta Pet Expo. Yay! Look at the ball of us. He's annoyed because he wants to sit on my lap, and I'm trying to explain to him that he cannot sit on my lap. And if he doesn't turn down in two minutes, I'm gonna put him in the back seat. Yes, the back seat. Probably once I drive for a little while, he'll settle down. I know, I know, I know, baby. We're gonna see Brandy's and the Molly's at the Pet Expo. So the Pet Expo sucked a lot. I forget how small he is, like, and he got stepped on. And I just, I don't know. So then I had to carry him, which is fine because he's small. But it was mostly, I guess, if you're into like, I don't want to say into, but like rescues and rescue groups and donations. Like, it was like a lot of handmade crap. Like, I don't want to buy your overpriced handmade crap. I sound like a douche, so I'm just going to shut up and go meet Brandisha. That's what I get for going without her. Hi, Nuggles. Why don't you tell all your friends about the Atlanta Pet Expo that you went to today. Um, I'm a little kid, but um, can I can I just use a bad word just just to describe um what it was like? It was effing stupid. Uh, I don't know why my mom brought me there. There were all these dogs, and I'm I'm gonna tell you the story while I play. And the dogs, they stepped, somebody stepped on me, and, and just because I'm little, like, watch where you walk. Mom, can you tell them? We went to the Atlanta Pet Expo. Brandy wasn't able to come because she had an appointment. Whatever, she had to work. Um, and then I didn't realize I was supposed to bring Molly because she was going to meet us there, but I'm glad I didn't bring her because that place was cray. And to have two dogs who are obsessed with each other behave, I, I don't know if I could have handled that. It was so lame. I looked at the vendor list and there were some like natural food vendors and a grooming vendor and that's the whole point why I went because I'm more into grooming like I don't want your free samples of buffalo blue because my dog can't eat buffalo blue because he blows it out of his butt yeah and it was just really far by really far that means it takes more than 25 minutes in Atlanta language so it was a complete waste of time. It was a complete waste of a top knot. My baby needs a bath. We're gonna get a bath tomorrow, baby. So afterwards, Brandy and I went to a, guess what, a vape shop. We went to Vulcan Vape. I think we're almost done with our Atlanta vape shop tour. And this flavor is called Umanji. Umanji, I don't know what it is, but it's good. I mean, I bought it. I just hate when you buy a flavor that has a Ugh, get off of my butt! That has a funky name and no flavor profile on the bottle. That drives me nuts. I'll have to look up the flavor profile. It kind of tastes like candy. Let's give it a bait because I haven't tried it yet at home. I have to prime my coil because I haven't used this tank in some time. I probably should have dripped a little on the coil. Priming it means you just kind of take a... I don't want to say a toke. You just take a hit sounds like drugs but it's not you take a hit but you don't engage the button so and then press the button here it sizzle do it one more time what are my settings at 6.5 we'll start there I liked it at the store I think I might need to change the coil because it's tasting a little funky. Well, this is the bottle. It's by Ben Johnson's and it's Jamanji. Let me see if I can find the flavor. Flavor, flavor profile. It is a delectable fruit flavor comprised of sweet, lush mango and mouth-watering pineapple. Yeah, I think my coil needs to be changed. And then I got this guy, 
by Alice in Vape Land, and I love it. It's called 15 Foot Falls. I rolled my eyes because it's a name. So let's see if I can find it. He's busy. What are you doing? I figured out the flavor profile for this guy. Um, 15 foot false. I got it in 6 milligram nicotine because I'm going to drip it. And the flavor profile is fire roasted marshmallows with a bit of coconut, coconut, coconut frosting, two honey sweet graham crackers, and a light touch of tasty tobacco. Which is so weird because I hate tobacco flavored vapes. Like, I hate them. And I didn't even know that there was tobacco in it till after I decided I wanted it. But I got no problem with tobacco flavor. I just don't really care for it. Is the radio really loud? It is. But now, I'm gonna drip some of this good good. Cause you do not wanna drip nicotine levels like 36. I don't have anything 36. 24, no, 18 is even a no. If you're gonna drip, you should do like six, maybe 12, but six or zero. So let's drip. This is how I drip on my ice stick because some people were curious if you could even drip on an ice stick. So I have a infinite rebuildable atomizer with a, I believe it's a 1.5 coil. Can I zoom in? Yeah, 1.5 coil. I'm gonna give this a little shake, 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 shake. Since this one comes with a drip tip, I don't have to pour anything over. So I'm just gonna wet my cotton. And that's probably way too much. And I'm gonna flood it. Go me. Then I'm going to put the top back on with the air hole facing the side of the coil. I'm going to turn him up to 11.6 watts of fun. And we're ready to drip and we're gonna get big clouds. That wasn't really a big cloud. I'm starting to become a cloud chaser, but it tastes so good. That's why I wanted to get it to drip because you get a lot more flavor with dripping, but also a lot less nicotine because this is a six. So I couldn't put in one of my tanks and like call it a day or anything. Now I know how to build my own coils because I'm a girl that vapes. Bentley, come, 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 come. I got a present for you. If we could find it. <gasps> Is this for Bentley's? I'm so nice. I went food shopping and I got you some of this good, good. And then you're gonna put the groceries away and then you get to play with it. Okay. But we're gonna call it a night because it's late and Bentley needs to put all this ish away because he has work to do. Say goodnight to all of your friends. Um, bye guys. I'm really tired. That stupid pet expo is so lame and I've been tired all day. You want to give your friends the courses? You want to give your friends the courses? You see the toy. Give them the courses. <gasps> give them the courses. Sweet knuckles. One more courses. <gasps> Sweet knuckles. Those were fake kisses because I have something behind my back. Let's see if he likes it before I bite. You like it? You wanna check it out? Bye, Felicia. You better like it. It was like $5. I think he's tired. He's like, I wanna go to bed.